The Fool, the first card in the major arcana of the tarot, part of the inner mysteries. The Fool card correlates with the number zero and the sun sign Aquarius. Today, we will be going on a voyage of discovery and innocence, journeying with your inner fool. This is your special time, and I invite you to choose a time and space where you can be quiet and where there are no distractions. Grab a journal or some pen and paper and leave it beside you so that you can take any notes, draw, or journal with any new insights that arise for you at the end of this meditation vision quest. I invite you to close your eyes and bring your attention to any parts of your body that might be holding any tension. Invite your body to gently release this tension. Now take a couple of deep cleansing breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. I invite you to take a journey with me beyond time and space and into the land of the archetype of the fool. Imagine that before you there appears a portal, a portal of pure possibility, a portal that will allow you entry into a magical alchemical laboratory of transformation. This portal is a symbol. It is your personal invitation from the cosmos to expand into the infinite being that you truly are. Notice what shape your portal takes and notice if any symbols appear upon it. As you allow it to appear before you, bring your awareness to a golden orb of light 300 feet above your head. Allow this light to beam its radiance down upon you and onto your portal, bathing you both in its luminous healing energy. Feel this light in real time. Feel how it caresses your skin, how it lightens your energy field. Imagine now that your head is like a moon roof and ask it to open up and allow this light to stream into all your chakras, into the energy centers of your body, clearing out any heavy, dense energy. Notice if there is a sound or a taste that accompanies this light. Feel yourself called forward through this portal into your personal alchemical laboratory, your cosmic wheel of transformation. As you enter, notice what is in the space. Are there sparkling crystal gemstones? 
ancient bottles with mysterious elixirs, a fireplace or a furnace? Are there symbols painted on the walls or paintings? And if so, what images appear in the paintings? Are there columns or stained glass windows? Is it clear or shrouded in the mist of dreams? Take a moment to vision what your special place looks like. Notice any architectural details that may appear. Do not judge what does or does not show up for you. Set an intention with your soul to be open to new possibilities and to know that whatever shows up now is perfect and is a divine part of your healing journey. Take another moment to feel into this special space. Notice if there are sounds or colors or lighting that draw your attention. As you look around this space, you see a beautiful woman sitting in a carved, gilded, ancient throne. Before her, there is a table covered with many gorgeous, vibrant tarot card images. She beckons you to come closer. You see as you approach her that the images that she has laid out all depict the fool. She speaks to you in your mind. I am the High Priestess. I am here to be your guide between the worlds. I am a shapeshifter, so at times I will take on different forms, sometimes even becoming your muse or your mirror. You may trust me with your soul, as I have come here to be in service to your highest good. I see beyond all illusions to the divine being and essence of who you truly are. I am the guardian of your path and I will open the inner mysteries for you. Today we will travel together into the land and energies of the Fool, the wondrous, irreverent, innocent archetype of new beginnings. Take the time to feel your intuition opening. Allow your unique originality that stems from the womb of all creation to open and be to begin to flow forth from the water jug that the fool carries. 
feel the winds of Aquarius blowing away all objections, belief systems, and programs that block your access to the dream time of your childhood, your innocence, and your pure potential. Feel that wind blowing through any dense, heavy energies in your aura or light body, and imagine it swirling through all your chakras until they are light, clear, balanced, and flowing. Bring your attention now back to the High Priestess. She indicates that you are to pick up one of the cards on the table. You pick the one that draws you most, the one that feels most alive to you. She instructs you to hold it in front of you and to gaze at the image softly. As you do, the image appears to grow and morph, starting to move and shifting to be life-size. Two columns appear on either side of you, and as the image comes alive between these two columns, you walk into the image. As you enter the landscape of the Fool, your energy seems to lift and you feel lighthearted, unburdened, and free. The Fool takes your hand and you both begin to skip, giggling and capering in and out of the rays of golden sunshine that dance upon the faces of the upturned sunflowers in a grassy green field. There is a puppy that prances playfully at your heels, and to your delight, a swarm of brilliant monarch butterflies now arrives to accompany you. Your worries and cares seem to just melt away as you are caught up in the magical spell of the moment. All the world looks new and fresh and wondrous. It feels as if you have stepped into a beautiful dream. The fool stops so abruptly that you suddenly lose your balance and you stumble and fall, plop to the ground, landing clumsily right on your bum. Fortunately, you land on a bed of soft moss and as you tumble, the fool falls with you and his puppy starts to jump excitedly back and forth between you, thinking that this is all a delightful game for his benefit. You both dissolve in uncontrollable fits of laughter, and the more you laugh, the more you cannot stop laughing. Each time you and the fool catch each other's eyes, you dissolve again in mirth, and finally, holding your bellies, you roll from side to side on the moss. You glance over at the puppy and notice that he is now a grown dog, and he lays quietly, soaking up the beautiful warmth of the sun. The fool lays down the stick that he has been carrying Attached to it is a bag with symbols on it. He unties the bag and lays it on the ground. You are intrigued and curious and ask him what he carries in the bag. He answers in his lilting voice that sounds like the gurgle of a spring brook and the piping of flutes all in one. All in good time, my friend, all in good time. First this, and he takes the stick, twirls it in the air, where it transforms into a magic wand that he points at the dog. 
Within the twinkling of an eye, the dog is again a puppy, frolicking in the grass, and the fool giggles delightedly. Yes, this is my magic wand, he says. It can only be used by those whose heart is completely pure. And its power is to return beings to innocence so that they can play and be healed. Would you allow me to touch you with my magic? You answer yes. And as he touches you with his wand, you feel tingling and chills as new ideas flash across the inner landscape of your soul. You feel your mind opening like a beautiful lotus flower and the fool hands you a rose. This is the rose of joy and it has within it the entire perfect universe. He now gestures at you to lie back on the mossy bed and you both rest in companionable silence, watching the clouds drifting by. Notice what words or symbols appear in your mind or in the clouds. Feel what this return to innocence feels like to you in your body. You drift in and out of dozing and being awake. And as you allow yourself to completely relax into this new flowing energy, words come floating to you across the gentle winds of time. A journey to the unknown may feel risky, yet great rewards will come to those who are willing to dive in with an open mind. You were born with all the stored up treasures of your wisdom, gained from all former lives and from your ancestors, your lineage. You can draw upon this as needed. Let go of preconceived notions about where you are going and how you will get there. Nurture an attitude of carefree faith and trust. Trust in the goodness of life. It is a journey of discovery that is filled with magic and wonder. Follow your inner knowing. You will be richly rewarded. Take a few moments now to listen and notice if more words or images come to you across these enchanted ethers of pure potential.
a gentle breeze is now blowing and you look up to see the fool gesturing at you to sit up. He beckons you to come closer and with a big smile and a laugh, he spills the contents of his bag onto the ground. He points at the bag and says, this is my chalice and these are my seeds of incarnation. He points at the seeds that have spilled upon the ground They are all shapes and sizes, and they seem to sparkle and leap, swiftly changing color from one moment to the next. These are the divine sparks of my being, and they are my gift to you. But first, you must give me something in return. He reaches out his hand. You have carried nothing with you into this other world, and you long to receive his gift, and still you feel clueless as to what to give in return. Yet you remember the words that drifted recently in your head, and you notice the sound of running water nearby. You see a waterfall in the distance and you impulsively and gleefully jump to your feet and grab the fool's hand, pulling him with you as you run towards the water. You come to the waterfall and as you intuited, the water is cascading through the rays of sunlight and creating dancing rainbows. You splash the fool and you shout with joy, I give you the gift of rainbows, dear fool, water, ether, air, and light, flickering with joy and might. The fool throws back his head with glee and laughs and laughs. You both splash and play as the rainbows dance upon your bodies. Feel the pure and absolute delight and the magical enchantment. You both frolic and caper, savoring the ineffable ambrosia of this glorious jaunt. Each time the water splashes you, it is as if you spark a new color, a fresh hue, and amidst these spirals and whirls of color, you discover your bliss. The fool now gestures to you to follow him, and he prances to the edge of a cliff that plunges dramatically to meet an opalescent aquamarine sea. You see that he carries his bag and he plucks a rose-colored phoenix egg from the area around his heart and tucks it into his bag. This is the egg of the universe, and carried within it are the seeds of pure potential, he says to you as he pulls you closer to the edge of the cliff. Feeling suddenly somewhat fearful, you stumble slightly. Ah, he says, where you stumble, there lies your treasure. You then see that as if by magic, each time you place your bare foot upon the earth, all manner of beautiful plants and flowers sprout and grow. The fool places his hands upon your shoulders and gently turns you so that your back is facing him. Then he chuckles as he declares, now it is time to spread your wings for a flight 
into the magnificent unknown. He begins to stroke the air around your shoulders, pulling and shaping the air as if there are truly wings attached to your shoulder blades. You feel a tingling on either side of your spine and as you glance behind you, you see that with each stroke of the fool's hand, bone, tendon, muscle, feather, and wing begin to manifest in form. Now it is your turn, says the fool, and he turns his back to you. You follow and do as he did, and now you stroke and pull his wings into form. Just as the final feathers take form, a strong gust of wind suddenly begins to blow, and you and the fool are lifted and simultaneously jump off the edge of the cliff. You are quickly airborne, free from fear and doubt, filled with the exhilaration and exaltation of flying and of being part of the pure unfolding of the universe. As you soar through the skies, you feel your profound connection to the oneness of all things. You embody the infinite. Take a moment to check in with all your senses to see what this feels like in your body. Allow the air to lift you and carry you on the winds of time back to the alchemical laboratory where the high priestess awaits your return. Feel your feet returning to solid ground. Gently fold your wings back and allow them to return to the element of ether. Wiggle your fingers and toes and stretch your arms up high. And in your mind's eye, see the High Priestess sitting before you with her table of tarot cards. Feel yourself coming back into and completely returned to your body and see your magical portal appear before you. The High Priestess waves her hands and the two columns appear on either side of the portal. Walk back through this portal into the here and now. And when you are ready, open your eyes. Know that you can return and call upon the energy of the fool anytime you wish. I invite you now to take some time to write, journal, draw, sketch any symbols, images, words, impressions, or messages that showed up for you during your journey with the Fool.